top of the morning, top of the morning. Well, it's afternoon time. It ain't top of the morning. Top of the afternoon, man. Salute, salute to all the subscribers. Shout out to everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? We got more breaking news. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Your boy is back home in the, in the A right now. But we got more breaking news. Uh, no Cassidy. Cassidy has canceled the battle due to an illness. You know what I'm saying? An illness, as, as we like to say. So I, I do want to say uh, it's a lot going on behind the scenes. And, um, you know, I think more will come out. I'm pretty sure hip hop is real and run down on them and get an interview and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I do commend John John for putting it out. He could have let niggas buy the pay-per-view and then drop the announcement at like, you know, five o'clock today or four o'clock today that the battle has been canceled. He let people know, you know, I guess when he found out. So that was the right thing to do. More league owners need to actually do that. And, um, you know, it's probably he probably wanted to get some public support as well. But at the end of the day, he still did the right thing. So I do want to show grace, grace there. And, uh, and show that but uh it's it's been a lot of things um this is this is just this is just a, a big blow for John John's car you know what I'm saying I have we ever seen a battle where the main event didn't happen that that's a big battle I know like sometimes small leagues and main events no don't happen or whatever have we ever seen a URL big battle RBE big battle King of the dot big battle Remy Ma big battle I don't mean a little hole in the wall. I don't mean no album events. I mean big battles where the main event didn't happen. I don't think that I can't think of one. You know what I'm saying? Even when Ill Will and Big K, no Ill Will and Calico didn't go down. ARP still made it happen in the parking lot. So I, I haven't seen it happen. But I said this yesterday: how 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 John John is one of the most disrespected top tiers, and, and I just feel like that's the case. He has a lot of issues with his events. You know what I'm saying? He did a one round card and then let people know. So he had a one-round car. He was getting ground up for that. He had the Mr. Fab event where, you know what I'm saying, Calico and all these other people didn't get their flights and everything. And then he was like, oh, wait me, it was Mr. Fab. He had that. He had the 25K joint with Easy, which was like good marketing for Easy. And then at the event, he was like, yo, I ain't know nothing about that. That was Easy put that out there. But when you run with these things, you still, your name is attached. Hustle no show at your event. Twerk just no show clone on your event. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Charlie Clips and Chef Trez didn't go down. These are like your friends in the culture, and this is how they be handling you. We know Surf drags you for years or whatever. So he's the most accomplished proven ground baller, but I feel like he's still not respected. So I'm not going to say that this is John John's fault per se. I do feel like at the end of the day, Cassie is a grown man. He signed a contract. He has fans. He was supposed to do the battle. What did my video, my first video on Cassidy say? I said Cassidy played John John. When I be doing videos, bro, I don't really know if y'all be realizing. I try to tell y'all stuff within stuff. In the first video, I said, Cassidy ain't doing that face-off. He didn't do the face-off. It don't matter if you schedule it later, you do this, 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 this. He's not doing the face-off. I already had heard he wasn't doing a face-off. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't, I'm not going to say it's a money issue or anything like that. He just wasn't going to do the face-off. Uh, about the way certain things certain things have just been handled and I and I try to tell you that when you book a battle you have a responsibility to uplift the card but this is a situation where where let me compare and contrast to Hitman Holla okay Hitman Holla isn't marketing Geechee Gotti like Geechee Gotti can't rap or he's trash or whatever I know he I know he's saying this nigga can't rap with me this but he's still boosting his card. He's still boosting the battle. It's going to be a movie on so-and-so. It's going to be this. He's still saying those things. Because even though you're a league owner and you think you're going to kill Geechee, you still have to uplift the card. One of John John's biggest mistakes is he kept telling the public the battle, how trash Cassie was. He can't rap. People don't book him to rap. He can't rap with me. You're not booking him for the bars. I only booked him for the business. Even though that happens all the time in this culture. You keep wondering why people choke and keep getting booked and chess keep getting booked and twerk keep getting booked. It's because they bring in the numbers. So they bring in the revenue. They bring in the views. They bring in the attention. So they keep getting booked. However, Smacka never go on camera and say even though twerk chokes, I still book him because he brings in the numbers. He can't say that. So you can't say, as a league owner, you have to boost the battler, and as the battler, you have to say you're going to kill the opponent. You're actually marketing your event. 
as a battler when you should be marketing your event as a league owner. That's one of John John's biggest mistakes. You think when Hitman booked J2, he didn't know the culture was going to say, oh, but J2 is, is a fruity guy. He's a fruity guy. He knows the culture is going to grind the J2 battle up. He knows that. I was on the phone with him. He's like, man, you know, so-and-so don't want to do the battle. Easy don't want to do the battle. Tay Rock don't want to do the battle. People don't want to do it. I called K-Shine. He didn't answer the phone. I'm just going to do J2 and Snake Eyes. He knows the culture isn't going to look at the J2 and Snake Eyes announcement the same way they looked at Swamp and Rex. Same way they look at Big Can Twerk. He can't get on the account. He booked the battle, bro, because there's energy behind those two. So it's a marketing thing. There's energy behind them. Like, yeah, they don't like each other. And, da, 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 and I might not like what J2 stand for or whatever. Da, 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 da. I might not be that kind of person. But at the end of the day, it's, that's why you book the battle. But you have to get on camera and tell the world J2 is a good battler. Snake Eyes is a good battler. I tell you a lot of times, Snake Eyes has lost a lot of battles. He's a marketing machine, though. You have to tell niggas J Snake Eyes is cooking. That is your job as a league owner. You can't say, I only booked Snake Eyes for the marketing. He don't win battles, though. I just booked him for the marketing. You can't say that. You got to tell everybody how good Snake Eyes has been in this culture. That is your league owner hat. You're not moving like a league owner, John John. You're moving like a baller. Do not tell the consumer who's spending money that Cassidy is not a good baller. He can't rap. People only book him for the marketing. He can't do nothing. I'm going to 30 him. I'm going to make him never want to rap again. I, you got to tell people, I'm going to be Cassie, but I know this is going to be the best Cassie that you ever heard. Cassie keep getting better and better and better. I know. I talked to Cassie not too long ago. He was at a bullpen event. You saw the mixtape, the Diddy thing. Cassie can rap. You, there is a, there is a video online where you're interviewing, you're, it's direct, direct interview, you, Twerk, and Calico. Calico is telling you that we grew up on Cassidy and Cassidy is one of his favorite battlers and Cassidy is one of his favorite rappers kind of thing. And he said, I don't know, a lot of y'all don't really like Cassidy, but I still feel like Cassidy be cooking in some of his rounds. Like he still be saying some stuff that I'd be like, yo, that was kind of cold how he said. In that video, you are arguing with Calico on how Cassidy don't ever say nothing good, but you're still trying to market a battle. You went about it wrong, bro. You went about it wrong. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if niggas is telling you this. You went about it wrong. I told you $39.99. You could have called my phone. I saw you in the mall not too long ago. You could have asked me, am I marketing the Cassie right now? I'd have told you, fuck no. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why you niggas do not call bloggers, bro, and get opinions on stuff in the way y'all be moving around this culture like y'all be knowing stuff. We are really in the field. We know what's going on. You know how many people be claiming they don't like Chris? How do I turn on this camera and I can tell you so much stuff going on in this culture? But niggas that get on Twitter and be like, I don't fuck with Chris Unbiased. I don't rock with Chris. How do I know so much stuff if nobody rocks with me? Because it's all cap. Niggas do be rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Their public persona does not always match their private persona. They hit you up behind the scenes. You know what I did? Then my post is fire. Then my talking about this. Privately, the support is great publicly they keep a stance but i'm still aware of it i use you niggas too i know you use it i'm biased use you niggas too but at the end of the day you got to tap in with niggas and, and, and figure out what it is that you're supposed to do so if i'm cassidy and i'm on a card you think cassidy is gonna go hard for url if smack was telling niggas cassidy was whack think of think think from a league owner right you the league owner you're supposed to boost the card up so when he books freeway and cassidy Smack does. Smack realized the response was terrible. He realized when he brought when when Cassidy and Freeway walked out on stage and said they were gonna battle, the coach was like, "Why the hell are you booking Cassidy and Freeway part two? If Smack had ever did an interview saying, "Man, I booked that shit for the views," Cassidy really trash. Freeway really trash. Why am I gonna go hard for you when the league owner is supposed to boost the card? That's why he's mad. That's why he's not rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? Add all that up. You ain't got nobody else doing no face-offs. You ain't got nobody doing nothing. You ain't got... I'm the only energy you got for the card, but you telling everybody I'm whack. You can't do that. 
You can't. That's why this nigga ain't rapping today. I don't know what these. I don't know if niggas is telling you. I'm literally telling you why he ain't rapping today. So if you not if you not paying attention to the tea, I told I was saying this a week ago, bro. He's not doing a face off. This is the energy that you keep putting out. You cannot put this energy out there. You know what I'm saying? This is also one of the weakest cars Cassie has been on. No disrespect to Clone, Loso. You got Reggie P is on this car. You know what I'm saying? Cassie probably ain't even heard of this nigga before. The car ain't built. Up, but I know it's bullpen. You're going to put. I expect you to put bullpen niggas on. So I'm not saying that you didn't do the right thing by the car. You put the niggas on that you came up with and you gave them a shot. But Cassie is about an Arsenal Goods, Hitman. Stuff like that. Those cars were bigger cars. URL cars. Max outs. Bigger cars. Not only is Cassidy dealing with the lack of promo, he's also dealing with the weaker card. So for him, he felt like I do everything to bring this card up. I got. I got to somehow bring Reggie P ass up. You know, you put Reggie P, Danny Myers. You put Shay Rack. Who we probably never heard of. You got. I got to boost this card up. And you telling niggas I'm trash. So that was going on, and then had the audacity to raise the pay per view. You raised the pay per view fifteen dollars in the last twenty four hours, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> you, you had the audacity to raise the pay per view, but we're not gonna let John John. I mean, we're not gonna let Cassie off the hook. At the end of the day, you a grown man, and you gotta still communicate. Niggas saying you not ain't been answering your phone. John John said in interviews, I don't know what's going on. Like maybe we should call him from another phone. I don't know what's going on. Bro, if you ain't gonna do the event, at least answer the phone. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not taking them off the hook. The blame pie, honestly, is about 50 50 on the blame pie. Like the marketing could have not been good, but if we talk amongst each other throughout the event, I can tell you, yo, my nigga, you do realize you're illegal. And I don't like the way you're marketing this car and, and, and clean up this energy. The battle was announced a month ago. Clean up some of this energy. So you're not communicating. And anytime you're in business, you have to communicate. So. Some of this, some of this is definitely on on Cassidy. You know what I'm saying? I actually think Cassidy is the majority of the person. If I if I paid you to do a battle and you don't do a battle, there's no way I can blame John John mostly. I right, keep it real with you. So the blame pot is gonna go to Cassidy. I just I'm just saying the purpose of why John John booked him for the marketing. You can't let the public know that that's why you booked them. You can never tell someone you only book someone for their views, not their talent. You cannot publicly say that. We live in a culture where people want good battles. You have to sell the battle up. You don't sell the views up. That's not how you're doing. Yeah, the battle going to be whack, but let me get your $50. You can't do that. that. It doesn't work that way. So the marketing is not good. However, Cassidy signed the contract, took the deposit. You got to do the battle, bro. If I'm doing a blame pie, you got to get 60, 65% of the, of the problem. You ain't do the battle. So, I mean, that's... That's worse than the marketing. You didn't even do the battle. So, and, and then you, it ain't like you canceled it weeks ago. You sat in the Hip Hop Is Real interview and was like, yeah, you know, I'm not even thinking about the, the face off and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm the boy. I got these the best raps I wrote. You got Reed Dollar doing an interview. Reed Dollar, bro. Reed Dollar did an interview say he heard your raps. They the best three raps ever. You ain't do the battle. So, no, nah, it's definitely. Mo I, I be grinding John John up on this camera about this, this marketing shit, but make no mistake about it. Cassidy is the majority of the blame. I know y'all don't, you know, I'm a mayor fair, I'm going to keep it real. You sign a contract, you got to do the battle. I tell y'all niggas all the time, that K-Shine shit, all this, all this stuff, y'all niggas be signing five-year URL deals and when they got the contract. I can't co-sign that, bro. Y'all are grown men who should be reading your contracts. If you want to sign a five-year deal and a year into the deal you want to cancel it, don't be blaming the league. Yeah, I could get on camera all day long and be like, I can't believe URL giving niggas five-year deals. I can't believe you signing them. I cannot believe you signing them. I ain't seen no nigga sit in no interview with K-Shine. My nigga, you signed a two-year URL deal as a top tier? Where they do that at? Let me get this straight. You signed a two-year URL deal as a top tier. Where do they do that at? I have not seen one interviewer ask them that. But what they keep asking them? Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up with you and URL? They ain't on you. They, they doing this. They don't want you to get money. Nobody has asked them. As a grown man, ain't no ain't no crucible, dude. He a grown man. Why are you signing two-year deals, bro? 
who who is doing is DNA doing that? No. Is Charlie Clips doing that? No. Is Hitman Holler doing that? You from Lions then. Let's take all the Lions then, niggas. Arsenal doing that? No. Goods doing that? No. Head Ice doing that? No. Loaded Lux doing that? No. Nobody's doing two year URL deals. They try to give award that. You do try to get an award deal? No. Nobody is. This nigga got 10 interviews on the internet and no one has said, bro, why do you sign a contract with URL? This late in your career, you're not a new nigga. You can move how you want to move. You sign a contract in the middle of Chrome, RBE, all these niggas doing max outs. You can't even move no more. Nobody's asked them that. So I'm not giving you a pass for wanting to get out of your contract, bro. You got, bro, y'all niggas got to grow up, bro. And I always tell y'all, y'all are workers in this culture. If you give me a contract to drive some product somewhere, I don't expect you to cancel. You gave me a contract. I expect you to pay me on time. It's a nigga right now. It's, bro, I just, I just did a run. I swear to God. I did a run. Nigga owe me $500. I ain't got my bread yet. Oh, I'm trying to, uh, the bank cancel. I'm trying to get it go through. We got a contract. I want my $500. I'm not in position to be driving and not getting paid. My first, uh, I didn't draw like three times for this company. And most of the time I didn't always got paid. But my, honor your contracts, bro. That's all I'm saying. I do feel like I'm going to get my money. But yeah, is he slow footing it? Yes. Give me my money, bro. You supposed to pay me three days ago. Now you ain't going to pay me Saturday. Because the bank is closed now. You ain't gonna pay me Sunday. So now by the time I and by the time I talk to you on Monday, we're gonna be at day six. No, you don't you don't know if I need that five hundred dollars. I'm blessed that I don't need that five hundred dollars. I could I could never ask for that money again and it'll never hurt me. I'm blessed to be in that position. You don't know my life though. Pay me my money. So you gotta honor your contract. So I'm always on the person who doesn't honor their stuff more than a person who don't honor. And when you are not when you are your own business person entrepreneur that stuff matters a lot of y'all are clocking niggas y'all niggas be thinking the the company is wrong all the time when y'all niggas be signing contracts so to me cassidy signed a contract you cannot cancel the day of the battle and expect john john to be mostly at fault no it's you and whatever you and you don't like about john john get on the phone and work it out communication solves a lot of things relationships personal friendships, all kind of stuff. Communication is the biggest reason why niggas fall out. They just don't get on the phone, man up, and talk about it. So, yeah, the marketing is whack, John. I keep it real. The marketing is whack. And maybe once, maybe somebody asked you about that in the interview. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you do realize your marketing was terrible for the, for this event. But ultimately, Cassie got to do the battle. All right, keep it real. Y'all do the battle. Chris, I'm biased. Holler at your boy. Oh, by the way, all the other battles are going down. <laughs> I just want to put that. Shay Rack and Jazz. You know what I'm saying? Clone and Tay Rock. Uh, everybody's here. Loso and Sirius Jones. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else we got on the card? Uh, 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 uh. I don't know everybody else. You know, I'm Danny Myers and, and uh and uh Reggie P. You know what I'm saying? Reggie P was a freestyle champion in Atlanta, by the way. For those y'all don't know who Reggie P is, but uh, so all the other battles are going down. Pay per view rap grid sixty five dollars. You gotta bring that pay per view down. Don't cast it. You gotta drop that shit down about twenty. You know what I'm saying? You might, want, you might need to get that pay per view away. You ain't got no Cassie. You gotta, uh, you gotta bring that pay per view down, down, baby. Up and up and roll. Boom, boom. Don't, 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 don't let it go, chitty, chitty. I'm out, man. Holla at your boy.